Hi there, thank you for joining me today. This is Leah O'Brien from Honey Bee Stamping and More. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this holder for note cards. We won't go over how to do the note cards because you can fill them with pretty much any kind of note card you want. These are Stampin' Up's uh, medium note cards and envelopes. They come 20 to a pack and they're perfect to just grab and put together a real quick card. Um, I really, I really, this is probably one of my top purchases are these note cards. So we need a piece of cardstock that's seven and a half inches by eight and a quarter. And we're going to score the long side first. And we're going to score this at three and seven eighths and four and three eighths. I'm going to use my Stampin' Trimmer because it has the eighth um, slash marks and it just makes it a little bit easier. Okay. So this side we're going to do three and seven eighths and four and three eighths. And then on the short side, we're going to score that at five and a quarter. And five and a half. Okay, so we're going to disregard this top line because I made a mistake, but we can still proceed. Um, so what we need to do is make a little notch so that the bottom flap folds up neatly. So we need to cut this little notch out. And the way I do it is I take my pencil and I put this score line in the galley here and I mark one inch. See the one here. And then I put this score line in the galley and I mark a one there. And then you just, you wanna cut from here to the second score line Please remember, we're going to disregard this little one up here. And it's just a straight shot. You could use your trimmer if you like, but it really, it's not that complicated to just do a straight shot. Okay. And then we're going to cut it out here. There you go. Okay, we're gonna put this aside because we're going to now, I'm gonna show you how to score this little piece right in here and the flap. So these little pieces are one and a quarter inch by two inches and we're going to score each of them at one half and three quarters. So what I do is I line up the one half on this side And then I just flip it over and then I move it, sorry, and then I move it to the one quarter on that side, which will give us And then for the big, um, for this piece right here, this is three and seven eighths by two inch, and we're going to score it at two and seven eighths and two and one eighth. Okay, so we'll move that aside. So we're done with the trimmer. I'm going to move these little things aside and we're going to pull this back down. So you want to fold and um, burnish on all the score lines.
And then the first thing I'm going to grab are these two little tabs and I'm just going to fold these using my fingers. Okay. And then I'm going to use a little tear and tape. And we only need, I'm going to put one piece close to the score line. And then on this bigger part here, I put one piece of tear and tape near the score line. Oops. And then another piece towards the edge. ahead and take care of this one. Um, we actually only need it on the bigger part because that actually goes on the back of the holder. Again, we'll put that aside. I'm going to take my take your pick pull tool. Now there are lots of videos on how to make these um, little holders, and there are lots of demonstrators that have showcased different holders. Um, I just thought I'd share mine. I'm not, you know, creating. Or recreating a wheel if you will um, I do do a little bit of a different closure um, but I don't want you to think that I think I'm the only one that's ever done this because I'm most definitely not so for the inside um, I take this little tab and put it on the flap and then the bigger tab I put on the actual like the base if you will so to do this you want to make sure that you line this line up with the edge of the um, flat. And then this edge here is going to be alongside the base. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side. Unfortunately, because this is such a small area, you need to remove all the backings. Um, it would make things a lot easier if you only could do one part at a time, but like I said, it's a small area. So I'm just going to take my bone folder and just make sure that they're all down. Okay. There we go. I'm definitely redoing that that bothers me but in any event so this is our back um, and this is the flap before I adhere it I wanted to round this little piece right here using my um, I can never remember the name of this it's a triple rounder thinger. How's that for an official name? Okay. 
and you just want to line this score line up with the edge now for the cover I have two pieces of whisper white and two pieces of cardstock that are um, the whisper white is four and seven eighths by three and three eighths and the designer series paper is four and five eighths by three and one eighth so I'll adhere these both to each other first So we're going to adhere this one to the front. And then adhere this one to the back because we want to make sure we cover that. Okay, and the last thing we have to do is um, on these two, I put some designer series paper on the edge and here. On this one, I'm not going to do that. I wanna keep it plain, but if you wanted to do it, and I'll um, include these measurements um, on my blog, is the one piece is one and seven eighths by seven eighths and the other piece is one and seven eighths by five eighths so you could you know attach that or attach some designer series paper um, and then the last thing I'm going to do is attach the velcro I got these off of Amazon um, I'll do a little bit of research and as long as I can find the link I'll include that um, at the bottom but I have the both parts attached together and they have, they have adhesive on them. Use my, there we go. And there's adhesive, that's, they're still stuck together. There we go. So it's just, I'll do the, give it a little extra pinch. Give that one an extra pinch. And there we go. We have a cute little card holder that can be decorated, filled with cards. Again, um, I put four cards in, two on each side with a lined envelope. Um, you could probably fit three on each side if you did not line the envelope or put layers on the cards. So please um, click subscribe below if you don't wanna miss my next video, if you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products that I've used in this project, they will be linked in the des description below. I will also include a link to my blog post where you can find detailed measurements and more about this project. I'd love to have you visit me at honeybeestampingandmore.blogspot.com where I post projects every weekday. You can subscribe on my blog to receive notifications of my blog post via email. You can shop with me anytime at honeybeestampingandmore.blogspot.com by clipping, clicking on the current Stampin' Up! catalog on the right side of my blog or on the Click Here to Shop graphic, which will take you directly to my St Stampin' Up! shopping page. If you are interested in a discount on your stamping products, the starter kit is the best way to get your wish list items for less. Until next time, have a beautiful day.